Trending tonight at 10, is it progress or more problems? A new report shows two Wisconsin youth prisons improving on a list of court-ordered metrics, but at the same time, it shows staff fear for their safety. Sam Kramer combed through that report. He joins us now here in studio. Sam? Hey, hi, Steph. These independent reports require the monitor visit both Lincoln Hills and Copper Lake schools, observe the behavior, and interview both youth and staff. Now, just before her visit, a teenager attacked two staff members, killing one. And now, corrections employees say they need more help. For the 20th time, as part of a settlement agreement over youth prison conditions, the expert assigned to monitor the Wisconsin Department of Corrections checks back in on the Lincoln Hills and Copper Lakes schools. Her 28-page report shows the DOC is substantially compliant with 88% of the consent decree requirements, like limiting the use of restraints and eliminating strip searches. However, the report also found staff are exhausted and fear for their safety. After a teenager attacked two staff members in June, counselor Corey Prue died at the hospital the next day. I wish I could say I was surprised. That it happened, but it's not. Because it shouldn't have happened. The report matches the testimony current and former employees shared before the Senate Committee on Judiciary and Public Safety last month. We care about these kids. We really, really do. And we want to help them. But the handcuffs are on the other side now. We are completely restricted. Prue's niece then said this to his former co-workers. I pray that you do not ever have to endure the pain and suffering that Corey did. I pray that this murder will change things for you and your safety. As lawmakers look for ways to do just that. Now, after that hearing, lawmakers asked a federal judge to alter the consent decree, but he declined, instead urging them and Governor Tony Evers to work together on finding a solution. Steph?